Everyone, Allison, at this point is hoping this air clears out. It's uh, just pretty nasty out there today. Oh, it's so bad. You can still see the haze and pollution hanging out across the skyline. But luckily for us, we're looking at some relief overnight tonight and into tomorrow. So 61 degrees in Bakersfield right now. So we're actually 12 degrees normal or above normal, excuse me. And we're actually going to be cooling down tomorrow, though, because of a cold front that we have heading in. But those dry conditions finally ending. This fire weather warning actually ends tonight at 8 p.m. for that cold front that's heading in tomorrow. So that's going to be bringing us cooler temperatures, also cloudy conditions, but no rain for us. So we're actually looking at this could be one of the driest Decembers on record here. We're still at only three hundredths of an inch of rain since October and over the next 10 days, even through Christmas Day, it doesn't look like we'll be seeing any rain for us. But this cold front is going to be bringing us cooler temperatures and cloudy conditions. So overnight into those early hours today, we're looking at 17 mile per hour winds tomorrow morning and those move through. We're going to see those clouds disappear though as we head into later Saturday, we're looking at up to 40 mile per hour winds over in our desert communities. And as we move into even later Sunday, we're looking at 34 mile per hour winds into Hatchby 30 down in Fraser Park and still up to 40 mile per hour winds in our desert communities. So our air quality looking at some relief finally. So we're going to be in that moderate range in AQI of 78. We haven't seen this at least for the past week, but there's still no burning for us here in Kern County unless with the registered device. So across the county tomorrow, we're seeing those cooling temperatures 60 as a high in Bakersfield, 59 in Shafter, but lows down into those 30s, even into the upper 20s. For the mountains, we're looking at 51 as a high in Fraser Park, 54 in Tehachapi, and 59 up in Lake Isabella. And for our desert communities looking at those 60, 61 degrees, but also those breezy conditions continuing Saturday and into Sunday. So we're looking at those cooler temperatures for your weekend, but then getting back to those mid 60s Monday and Tuesday. But look at this dropping down to 58 degrees on Wednesday into Thursday because we have yet a another cold front that's going to be bringing us those cooler temperatures, but no rain in sight, in sight still for us, but then back up to 62 degrees next Friday. Kern River Valley tomorrow looking at those breezy conditions. Then we're back up to those mid 60s, then dropping down to 57 for your Thursday next week to Hatch P looking at 54 as a high 51 on Sunday and then up to 59 for your Monday and 63 on Tuesday. So getting warm, but then again, cooling down and we're looking at those breezy conditions in the middle of next week. Fraser Park dropping down to 50 degrees though, and then back down to those 50s later next week. So finally that fresh air this weekend and then next week, but no rain even through Christmas Day. Oh mm. no, <laughs> nothing. It's a long time. Well, I guess since we're getting into Christmas, we don't want rain while we're out on the roadways and things like that. So I guess yeah, maybe that last minute shopping. <laughs> right, so maybe right after Christmas yeah. we'll take some rain. New year, new rain, I'll yeah. say that. All right.